want to talk to you about proofing pots and why I think proofing pots are a really good addition in your pizza sort of arsenal um, of weaponry when it comes to creating a great pizza, um, not a good pizza. So what you could do, obviously, is you get your pizza ball, you take it um, out of the frozen bag, you could put it in a bowl like this and put cling film over the top of it. Uh, cling film single use, so it's not massively great for the environment. Um, you also find, what well, I've found in the past, that you can't create the perfect seal around the cling film, and particularly as the dough starts to expand as so it's resting and proofing, um, it um, starts to push on that, and you might get some dry areas you know, sort of that start developing on top of the pizza, um, on the ball, which isn't particularly nice, and it can create a little bit of a problem when you're pressing it out. So, you take the ball, you've got a pot, I've got my pots here that are at various stages of proving, Dead simple, I've taken this from a freezer a few minutes ago and I just open it out and this is so simple, you take three, four seconds to get that out of the bag and there we are, it's in the proofing pot which I can use time and time again, I can use it for a multitude of different um, things, so like I put cheese in it for nacho cheese and a dip or anything like that, then microwave proof as well. Um, I wouldn't recommend defrosting your pizza in a uh, your pizza ball in the microwave at all because there's uneven heat. There is another video to watch on that. But there you go, create those out, stack them up if you want to, in the fridge overnight when you've um, taken them out of the freezer. In the morning of the bake, as I have done here, you can see here you've got different sort of stages of the dough. Um, this is late morning, I'm not cooking this until afternoon, but it's going to get to a point where it will be perfect and perfectly go in my pizza oven later on. That is it. Thanks for watching.